<laughs> Did I give you a fright? <laughs> we are learning all about spiders this week. Now, is a spider an insect? I'm hoping that you're going to be finding out this week. The story that I wanted to start the week with is an Eric Carr story. I've got two copies of it. Look. The Very Busy Spider. Now, both these books are really special because the web in each page you can actually touch and you can feel where the spider's building his web. So it's quite nice. I'll try and see if I can show that on the video. I'm not sure if I can. Are you ready? Let's start. So, this is the story of the very busy spider by Eric Carr. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near the farm and began to spin a web with a silky thread. Just there on the gate in the farmyard. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. She's got four strands in it now. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma, ma, bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. You see how she started it? And then she's put all these parts out to the main frame there. Now I can feel the web. It feels really nice to be able to touch how she's building it. Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. On each of these pictures, there has been a fly buzzing about. Have you spotted him? You keep an eye out for him in the next few pictures. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Want to chase the cat? spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Now when I look at the web here, it reminds me of a spiral. She started in the centre and she's come out and it reminds me a bit of a snail's shell. Do you remember when we looked at spirals then? Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy building her web. She'd now finished it. Can you see here where it ends, how it looks like a spiral? It's beautiful, isn't it? I don't know if you can see that it's slightly raised in my book, but there it is. I wonder what will happen now. Cock-a-doodle-doo! crowed the rooster. 
Want to catch a pesty, pesty fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web, just like that. Woo woo! asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen fast asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. You see that spider, so it's quite difficult to see. There we are, shimmering in the night sky. And there's our spider. Now I have to tell you a funny story because this morning I went out into my garden on a spider hunt and I thought that there would probably be one in my shed, um, sort of outhouse. So I went in there and in the corner there was a really big spider, busy, busy, busy. And I said to Mr Turner, I can't quite reach him. Could you perhaps catch him for me? And I can share him with all the children. And he said, oh, OK. And he went in. And of course, the minute we touched the web, the vibrations, which is what lets the spider know it's caught something, meant that it scurried off. So I didn't manage to catch it for you. So I am sorry. But maybe you'll find some in, the, the, in your garden or in the garden at school if you're going back today so have a think about that see if you can see spiders that you might be able to ask a grown-up to help you catch just don't be like us don't touch the web see if you can catch it without disturbing it too much and then don't forget to let it go now i wanted to finish this story with a song now i'm not a very good singer not like miss clark but i do have a favorite song a version of incy wincy spider which i really like which i wanted to share with you so I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to do the actions. Are you ready? Can you do the actions for Incy Wincy Spider? I'll show you. So first of all, there's your spider and he's climbing up the spout. Can you see this is his body and his legs are big O's. And then the rain's going to come down and wash him out. And then the sun's going to come up and dry up all that rain so that he can go climbing again. But this version has got a little bit different because actually there's one about snow and incy wincy climbing in the trees. So shall we give it a go? Let's see how we get on. It's good, isn't it? Ready with your spider? Ready? Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. An incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Oh yes, he did. Climb incy, climb incy wincy, climb incy, climb incy wincy. Incy wincy spider climbing in the trees. Down came the snow and made the spider freeze. Out came the sunshine and melted all the snow. So incy wincy spider he had another go. Climb incy, climb incy wincy. I like that. It's a bit different, isn't it? Okay, well, listen, everybody take care and keep safe. Look out for the next story. The next story that I'm going to read for you is Our Spider. Another great spider story. Have great fun finding out about them this week. Please send in your photos and keep me up to date on what you're getting up to. All right, then, take care. See you soon. Bye now.